Yeah, some dodgy characters around here. That's why I reckon the cops are parked there. Because with so many tourists coming to these places, Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks. Today, coming to you from the town of Chinchon, and we're going to have a walk around this town, small town here in the Madrid community, and also a small town here in Spain, so uh, I'll turn the camera around. All right, so let's have an interesting walk around this little town. Around 5,000 people, 50 kilometers from the capital city, Madrid. And it is one of the must-visit places, I think, in the Madrid community. A place to visit if you come to Madrid, if you're here in Madrid, let's say, for a week or so in the capital city, and you're looking for different places to visit, this is definitely a town that I would recommend. Because as we will see, as we go on our walk today, there's lots of interesting things to see and do here at least for half a day, or maybe come out here and have lunch in one of the many traditional restaurants in this part of Spain, and also in Chinchon. Now there we have the Calle Nueva, as we can see there, Calle Nueva. Not much new activity going on up there, unfortunately. Car coming down the street here, so I'll get on the sidewalk, and we will continue our walk down to the center of this town. Let's go. Now I'll get back out into the middle of the road here, another car coming, so I'll get off the road as we continue our journey. And as we can see, this is a, a town, because of its popularity with tourism, is reasonably well kept. Because if you go into other towns, in this part of Madrid, the southeast part of Madrid, not far from the province of Toledo, you will see that a lot of the villages are quite run down, but this is not the case. Restaurant here, Meson Cuervas. So this is a place that I imagine at weekends would be quite busy. Now, there are some interesting things to see. And that's where we're going to go now and try and find some of those places. The first place I want to see is the, the church. So I'll see if I can find the church. I think I'm going to take one of these streets here to the right, if I can. But then again, I don't want to go too far down because the further you go down, the more difficult it is to get back up the hill again. So, I'm going to go up here. Let's see what we can find. La iglesia, perdón, la iglesia está por aquí? Sí, gracias. Okay, so the church is in this direction. That's what I want to see first because from the church, you've got fantastic views. Just get out of the way while this guy reverses in here. All right, up the hill we go. And this is a hilly town. Now we've got an abandoned house over there. Don't know why. The one next door quite well preserved. But this one here abandoned. And this one here also Seems to be abandoned for some reason. Don't know why. So a bit of a mix of well-preserved houses and abandoned houses here in Chinchon. Another one that looks to be abandoned, although it has an alarm. So I don't know if anyone's living in there or not but the outside of the house, not very well preserved. Parking there. Now you'll notice that it's quite quiet. It's a Tuesday morning, around 11.10. 
So not a peak day for tourism. Although when we get down into the main square, where they hold bullfights, you will notice there will be tour groups there. Some renovations going on here. Three or four guys working in there. Obviously maybe turning it into some type of accommodation or restaurant like this one over here. Maison Quinones. We'll have a look at a menu and get an idea of what the prices are here. But I think you could get a, a decent meal for a decent price in Chinchon. In fact, I've got a mate in Madrid, and this is one of his favorite places to come and eat with the family or whenever people come and visit him. He always comes to Chinchon and has a bite to eat. Plata de las Bacas. Down there, I imagine. So let's keep on going. In these uh, Chinchon back streets, where the locals would live and go about their day to day. This is a, an agricultural area. Like a lot of towns here, people live from agriculture, garlic, onions, one of the two main crops. And if you're in Madrid and you get garlic in your food, there's a fairly high chance that it would have come from Chinchon or one of the neighboring towns. Now, you'll see these things quite a lot in these little towns. These religious symbols, obviously Christmas just around the corner. Feliz Navidad, Prospero Año Nuevo. So, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. People getting into the festivities. Some more decorations up there. All right. We'll keep on walking down here. Again, in search of the, the church. I could be going in completely the wrong direction. I've got no idea. So I might have to ask somebody else again in a minute. But I like to discover all of these little nooks and crannies that you find in these interesting streets in these towns. And as I said before, you could walk around here, spend half a day just walking around Chinchon, looking at all of the different things. All right, now I found the church, so we'll go down here. Young bloke uh, going home, obviously having a break from school. Baby crying as well. Not sure if it's coming from the same building or not. All right, now here's the church. And we'll find some information if there's a, a sign up here that will tell us something about the church. But I think I read that it dates back to the 14th century. But again, don't quote me on that figure. Because when it comes to the history of these places, sometimes my dates are wrong. So let's have a look here. So again, the emblematic building of the town. We've got a pigeon or a dove nesting up there. If you can see that. All right, what have we got over here? Calle de José Sacristán. Now, if you're not familiar with Spanish actors, José Sacristán is one of the more famous actors here in Spain. And we can see here that he was born in this town and he's won local awards, Goya Awards there, Premio Goya de Honor. And he was born here on the 27th of September, 1937. And as I said, if you are familiar with Spanish film, you would have seen this guy in a lot of films back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, when he was around. I think he's still active, but don't quote me on that. Now, we've got some information about the church. Let's just get a look at the, the outside of the church here. Let's just see here. 
So another magnificent building in this part of Spain. A couple of ladies over here. I just heard that one of them is waiting to go to a funeral. So obviously there's going to be a funeral here soon. And we've got the Iglesia de Nuestra Señora de la Asunción. And we can see here that it was first built back in 1534. And it was a project of Alonso de Covarrubias and finished in 1626. So there we go, this religious symbol here. And as you guys know in Spain, there's lots of religious symbols. Now, what do we got here? Well, the reason I came up here first is because there's lots of interesting things to see here. And you also get a fantastic view of the Chinchon town. So if we have a look here, I'll pan the camera around and you can get a fantastic sight of this little town here. 5,000 people. Another important building over there, we'll check that out in a minute. Bell Tower. But down there, and you can see, I don't know if it's a bit far away, but you can see down there, that main town square where there's a few trucks parked doing deliveries is where they hold bullfighting events nowadays. So every time they have the local town parties or fiestas, bullfighting takes place down there. You can see the roofs over there as well. Over there in the distance, I'll just uh, put my finger up there so you can see it. Over there is a castle. But the castle is not accessible, it's been closed off. I was there recently and it's been fenced off so you can't get in there at the moment. So we won't be going there today. We'll get a shot of the side of this church here again. And just pan around again. And we're going to work our way down to that plaza or town square in a minute. I reckon we'd go down there. But first, we're going to go over here and check out what these buildings are. So what's this one here? This is a theatre. Over here, I'll just turn the camera around. Teatro Lope de Vega. And on the side of the theatre we saw that Spanish actor, José Sacristán. There's a couple of other statues here as well. Obviously this guy, Sacristan, he's like the, the most famous person to come out of Chinchon in recent times, I would say. And there's another statue over there dedicated to him. So everywhere you go here, you see his name. And Lope de Vega, who was a, a famous poet, I think back in the day, playwright, he came here and he stayed here in uh, 1599, I think. Well, that's where he signed his work in 1599. El Blason de los Chaves de Villalba, Lope de Vega. So another famous person from Spanish cultural history, as this person here maybe was as well. Let's have a look. Don Francisca Enrique de Rivera, Condesa de Chinchon, Virreina de, del Perú, Descubridora de la Quina, in 1629. So a lot of history in this part of Madrid. Let's go back this way. And when we get down to the main square, we'll also see some important historical places as well. So there we go, look at the architecture here. Calle de San Sebastián, sorry, Calle de San Esteban Baja. All right, now let's have a look at this building here. We'll see what it is. I think it's just a bell tower. I'm not sure if there's any other 
significance to it. Let's have a look. I'll just pan up there so you get an idea. No pasa nada. Si quiere pasar, no, no, no. Esta torre fue restaurada por la Comunidad de Madrid in 1992. So there we go. The Madrid community restoring this bell tower or whatever it is back in 1992. And let's have a look at the views from here. So we're going to work our way down there down to the main square and there's a better view of that castle but unfortunately you can't go in. I don't know whether they're restoring it or not but as I said a few weeks ago or a month or so ago when I was last there you couldn't get in and that building over there which is also being restored I think is the Parador so we'll go and check that out as well but objective now is to work our way down to the Plaza Mayor. So let's go. Let's head down to the famous Plaza Mayor de Chinchon, which has seen some things over the time. I'll tell you that. Now, let's have a look. So people living in these places here, amazing. All right, so Plaza Mayor is where we're headed to. So I don't know whether to go right or left. I think I'll go left. Cuesta de la Torre. Car coming through here. All right, so we'll get a view of the church from down here. Let's work our way down this little narrow street here to the Plaza Mayor, as we can see. Let's go. Plaza Galaf. So I parked up the top deliberately because it's easier to walk down. But of course, I'm going to have to make my way back up again. But that shouldn't be a drama. All right, so we're at the Plaza Mayor already here. And there's some stuff going on down there, so we'll check that out in a minute. But first, we've got uh, some interesting stuff here. Vivienda de uso turística, or vivienda de uso turístico, sorry. Cafe over there. So this is accommodation. If you are coming to stay in Chinchon, that could be an option. And here we've got a museum etnologico posty and this is the Plaza Mayor and this place here in itself is spectacular we'll go into the center and we'll get a better look but this is one of the better Plaza Mayors that I've seen here in Spain over the years because it's got some interesting characteristics to it, especially these balconies that are all the same color and they're full of restaurants. So over there we've got the rest Restaurante Plaza Mayor, tavern down there as well, another restaurant up there, cafe up there, another restaurant over there, bakery, taverna, another restaurant over there. We've got these stalls here obviously because of the Christmas period. But just walking around this main square here, fascinating to look up and see the different buildings. Another restaurant over there, Taberna. All these different restaurants here. And the architecture, it's in sync, which is something that I also like. And over here we've got some of the more traditional pastries and treats that you can buy in this area. This is the local drink, chinchon, aniseed, 
and these things here also, these rosquillas, which are very, very tasty. Magdalenas, which are like muffins. What type of tartas are these? What are these? Cheesecake, chocolate cake. It has a very good pinta. Gracias. Uh, yeah, so it all looks very tasty. Casa de Ayuntamiento, so that's the town hall building. And this would light up at night. Let's go and check out the Parador. And then we'll work our way back up to the, to the hill. Hairdressers, another local business there. And this building over here, from the outside, is the Parador, the Chinchon. Mm. Yeah, some dodgy characters around here. That's why I reckon the cops are parked there. Because with so many tourists coming to these places, you could be a target. And there's the view of the church up there, looking over the Plata Mayor. All of these local businesses here, selling the local treats. So an impressive little town is Chinchon. Interesting street up there that we won't walk up. We can get an idea of the prices, so menu del dia, traditional food, 22 euros. You get migas manchegas, sopa castellana, judías blancas, ajo arriero, revuelto de morfilla, ensalada de ahumados. I mean, the second courses there you can see. Interesting, cachopo on the menu which is not traditional in this part of Spain, but is quickly extending all over the country, the famous cachopo. All right, now, I'm gonna head up this hill. We'll have a look at the fountain over here and the religious display that they've got going on. Little baby Jesus over there and Mary and Joseph, I imagine. And of course, the fountain. Let's walk up this street here. Got to go back up the hill. Again, cachopo on the menu. 15 euros for the cachopo, chuleton, which is a big piece like a T-bone steak. Entrecot, 15 euros. So that's what you're paying. There's the posty again, menu 13 over there. Again, places where you can get a bite to eat. And up here, again, more religious stuff going on there, I think, or arts and crafts. Let's walk up here. Place for sale up there. Not sure what the cost would be, but if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. All right, work our way back to the car. Uphill, of course. Pharmacy, I'm getting into where the locals of this town live. Up the top, I think. More Christmas decorations. We'll turn the camera around. We'll get a view of the Plata Mayor from up here. Not the best, but not the worst either. So, time to wrap this quick video tour of Chinchon up. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Debate the video out as you normally do. If you have been to this part of Madrid, let us know what you thought of it in that comment section there. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego from Chinchon.